first box right here is the all one add-ons these are the pinch point uh lifting point blocks that i bought really nice billet machined so it shows you where the lift point is these are what you put on your car where the pinch weld is but you can put it next to the pinch welds that way you can still use your pinch welds to like say set jack stands on and this will add a strong point for lifting and in my case my lift excuse the mess my lift over here uh i pretty much let me go show you over here what i did pretty much figured out where it goes by marking tape on the floor so we get a little tape there and i put a little arrow and it shows the you know you go straight up from there to the center of the wheel i put a bar marker so when the car is pretty much where it's perfectly at it's like that right like it's edge to edge i put tape on the floor still not perfect so there's always a little bit off some way or another because I could, you know, it could be a little further forwards or a little further backwards to be perfect. So now that I got these blocks, what I can do is set the jacks from the jack from the lift under there. And then I can take these blocks and move them until I get a perfect, you know, exact spot where the car will lift from without having to move the car, you know, and back and forth a lot. So pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a expert on this sh this stuff but that looks pretty damn cool i mean it's a cnc machine aluminum billet super tough really cool looking these are meant to be locked on so you put them on the car and you crank those those little screws right there in until they're super tight and you leave them on the car from what i've seen uh you don't take them off they, they become part of your car of course you better make sure you crank them down pretty good so you don't hit some bumps you know and sling them off uh in the highway one day so Anyways, nice that came with a little Allen wrench for it. Pretty neat. So here we go. Let's see if I can get this one-handed here. With the mud guard kit. It comes in a little bag. Comes with two clips, which is pretty cool because I uh, made my own mud guards out of Home Depot, uh, you know, like what do you call it? Gutter guard, gutter guard mesh, which actually works out really well, but it doesn't protect the car itself from anything else, it just protects whatever flies through the the front slots you know on the fenders so this kit i got from them i got it on labor day so they had a nice sale like i don't know 15 percent off or something like that so it comes in four pieces of it ow I don't cut your finger by the way it really sucks for days but um okay simple simple and sweet it looks like it's cnc machine cut like solid sheets of uh plastic or a nylon plastic so the cool thing is, so this is an open slot. I'm gonna keep my mesh. Since my mesh is already in there, I'm gonna put this between my mesh and that will allow me to have the mesh protection and the guards on here. So I'm sure there's some kind of instructions for this. That's the rear one. I see here they got the little 3M tape so you can stick it to your to your bumper, which is, which is cool because you take the bumper off like I had to one time when I put my uh, carbon fiber on here let me go let's go over here and, let's go over here and see how one fits let's see that would be right it should be this one okay so it's gonna fit up in here it's got the three screw holes so it looks like it's pretty simple you just line it up this 3m tape's gonna stick where's that screw hole there it is oh yeah nice so they made it so it fits up right against that stock piece i guess you could go under if you want but it looks like it just goes lines up right on it and the cool part is it's going to protect, to some extent, my my carbon fiber side splitters. So I won't have rocks and stuff tearing the face of them up. And they're really low profile, so you don't have like a huge, huge guard sticking out. It doesn't look like rally flaps, you know, and look all crazy. So that'll be nice. So that's that one. It's got the 3M tape, as you can see, like I said. That's for the rears. And now this one should be, let's see, the fr yeah, the front should be that way. Let's see wait three screw yeah because this one's gonna go in like that so this one's gonna come in you're gonna slide it up under there and it's gonna sit right let's see where's that hold there we go right there that opening's a little okay so i'm assuming it goes under it actually it looks like yeah it's gonna go under on the fender side on the fender liner it'll go under the fender liner but it's gonna stick out on this side so that's why they made it a little oversized. Either way, as you can see, it only sticks out like that far. Like that far. So it's not even, what, an inch, inch and a quarter out. So it protects the whole front assembly, front, front side skirt, 
and it still allows full airflow through this because it's fully open. I wish they'd made it with holes drilled in it. I don't know why they didn't do that. It would have been so easy to do. I'm sure they had their reasons. Maybe cost, manufacturing time, I don't know. But anyway, this wasn't that expensive. I want to say I paid, uh, what was it, $75 or something like that for the set of four, which is a lot better than uh, 200 and something dollars for a set of four for like rally armor and, and the likes. Anyway, so there, there's that. Here's my CMST carbon fiber rear diffuser that I just finished. Right there, looking cool. Got the PRL risers, the OEM copy wing, got my decals that I make. If you guys want any, uh, these, these say Type R, but you can get them solid, you can get them saying anything you want. I mean, you can get it, you can get it saying in Japanese. I'll put anything in there in the software before I ship it for the same price. So go look those up. Check them out on my uh, texasdecalking.com website. We're getting ready to take this off. This was forged carbon that I used to have on the roof. I like the look of it because it's different, but I've gotten over it. I got a lot of carbon fiber now. So what I did was I did a dry carbon 3M2080 wrap. In fact, we just finished this yesterday, so it turned out perfect. It looks amazing. We do wraps as well. So if you guys are in the Central Texas area, to Belton, Temple Colleen, all that snow place, Waco, whatever, and you guys want to come out, we got the you know, hood wraps, roof wraps, full wraps. We don't do printing, but we can order prints that are printed for the car for you and have those, you know, installed ourselves. Yep. Alrighty then. So going to go ahead and install these and then show you guys the uh, after final form of it. Instructions look pretty simple. Well, so what I'm not really going to need to do a video on it because, I mean, they include the instructions right there. It shows you the push pins, the screws, tells you where to where to mount it, and this one you use the 3M tape on the inside, of course, the bumper, and then you use the screw. It's pretty simple. Pretty cool, so gives you step-by-steps, gives you a phone number in case you need to need help. But yeah, I like it. All right, so it only took me about 20 minutes to do the all four. Front's uh, a little slower than the rear, but that's normal because there's more, a little more to it. If you don't jack your car up, like I've had this up on the jack, you know, the lift, and the wheels hang down and it's like, you know, you can get a short stubby screwdriver between the tire and the fender liners. But if it's on the ground, I'm gonna show you a little trick. Let's see if I can do this here. So what you do is you take a little, you can take a longer one too, it doesn't really matter, but it's easier with the short one. You take a little short Phillips tip, stick it in here, get it in the screw, take you a quarter inch uh, wrench, preferably with a closed end, because the open end will just fall off. Closed end will hang on. And you'll slide that over that and it'll lock onto your traditional standard uh, tip. And then you just, and then you slide the wrench forward to get it off the hexagon, you know, part of the uh, screw tip. And then you lift it where you want it, slide it back up backwards, kind of like loading a rifle or something. And then you crank it down, slide it forwards, spin it, slide it backwards, crank it down. And that'll save you a crap ton of time and you don't have to go get anything special or jack up the car. Uh, and, and all that stuff. Now I did I did have the screen already in here that I've custom made with that uh, that really cool black Home Depot uh, gutter mesh. So I'm leaving that in there. This is cool. This actually goes over that. So now I have that and this. So I have double the protection. I have rock protection for the paint and the edges and I have rock protection and stuff from going through here down the side of the car on the door. Now another thing I do love is it didn't, it didn't stick out as much as I would have loved for it to but Truthfully, if I really wanted to modify it a little bit, I could just, you know, anybody could just drill the holes in a little bit further inboard and you could bring it, you know, out as far as you wanted. But how they designed it, I think it's fine. It comes right out to my, the edge of my rear splitter here, rear, rear side piece of my uh, uh, diffuser. And tighten these down the same way I just told you with a little, actually these two are pretty easy to do with screwdrivers. Just top in the middle one and the bottom one are, yeah. The bottom one was the one I used this uh, this little guy on again. So anyways, here's what it looks like. Pretty clean, not obtrusive, not ugly. It doesn't hang down 15 feet like the Rally Armor ones. Doesn't look like you're trying to be a WRX. There's how it looks from the sides. Kind of straightens out that whole line, makes it look really cool. Shows off your uh, wide fender flare even more with the vent because now it kind of like you know, contrast with it. I like that curve at the bottom instead of just straight bottom 
you know, chopped edge. It gives it a really, keeps with the lines of the car. Let's go ahead and look at the back of it. There you can see both of them, the one in the front up there, come down here. You're never gonna be this low anyways. Normal, you're gonna see about that much of it. So it's really cool. Really adds a lot of protection that you need without having a lot of, you know, obtrusive, ugly stick out. And it's, the price is just amazing. Very well made, I highly recommend. If you wanna save some money. Uh, keep an eye on my channel. Go to my website if you want to order some of these cool side decals like I just showed you, as well as other ones. I'm making for the OEM wing as well. This is the OEM carbon wing style, and I also make them for the regular OEM wing, which is not on the car. It's up there in the uh, storage. Took it off. That's my name. And these are some of the decals I made for myself. Just for, I used to be a show car fanatic, and I still am to a certain extent. That's why I'm building this back up, but I'm not as much as I was, but I still do a lot of the Decal stuff that's flashy for the show scene. I got my hood right now, slightly popped, because I like to keep stress off of the uh, locking mechanism on any kind of carbon fiber when you're storing it. Got the splitters. Front lip, this is all CMST here. So their little, the ZL1 mud flaps uh, look great. ZL1 add-ons, highly recommend. Go out and get you a set. Like and subscribe for further updates. I do little small videos. I'm not a big YouTuber. I'd like to be, but I just don't have the time with my business and, you know, fixing up the house and working on this car and doing other stuff. But I try my best. Here's the uh, actually the OEM wing side decal that I stuck on here when I was messing around with the old Civic Type R uh, logo. That's in forged carbon. Same stuff I use on the side here, which I'm going to take off, like I was saying earlier. I like the look of it, but I like to look at that better. It looks more matchy matchy if you will alrighty appreciate it like and subscribe put those notifications so when I post new stuff you'll see it and help me build my channel up and you'll see more stuff I'm gonna the bigger my channel gets the more I can get some people to uh, notice me and start sending me more products to review so that'll kind of benefit everybody appreciate it